Hi everyone, Chris here, aka the Winter Soldier on Mad Bean Pedals Forum. And this is part two of our UV printing tutorial series. And in this video, we're going to be focusing on artboards and our layout for our UV printing PDF. I'm going to be doing this video in Affinity Designer, uh, but the same principle is going to apply to whatever vector program you're using. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is set up our parameters for our artboard. And as you can see here, if I pull up the Tata website, the artboard size for this enclosure that we're going to be doing um, is 90 millimeters by 115.5 millimeters, which is a 1590 BB enclosure. As I go into my document setup for my artboard, you can see here my dimensions are correct. And when I go to color, it's set up for the CMYK, just like they're asking for. So this is just my basic workflow. Your workflow, however it is, should pretty much be the same in whatever program you're using. I prefer Affinity. I like the user interface. I feel like it uh, gives me an easier workflow versus Illustrator. But like I said, whatever program you're using, it's going to be pretty much the same. One thing I would really suggest is setting up a basic template for whatever size enclosure you plan on using. This will save you some time in the future should you ever use that enclosure size again. I like to do this for every size. That way, no matter when I'm going to do a design, I can pull it up fast and just start working. The basic layers that I like to start with when I have a template or if I'm starting out from scratch or over here on the side, I'll have my enclosure layer, which I will put the color of the enclosure that I'm using, the drill template layer, which I will import the PDF of the drill template to line everything up, my color layer, which is going to have all my text, uh, drill holes, my artwork, anything that I want printed is going to be in the color layer. And then my hardware layer, which I use the vector pedal pack, which has all your knobs, your hardware, enclosure sizes, pretty much everything you would want. So that will be in that layer. So just to give you an example of the type of template I would use, the color layer I have uh, my basic voltage polarity up here, and I can move that around. I have my logo and the border that I normally use, and I keep one of my drilling holes. I can copy and paste as many as I need. And then when I go over to the hardware layer, I keep all the common knobs, switches, uh, LEDs, and bezels that I would commonly use in any pedal design so I can quickly pull them up. I can come over here, whatever I'm not using, I can take out, I can delete, and when I save the file um, as something new, this is still intact. The pedal that we're going to be looking at today is a Mad Beam Pedals Polytrug, which is an Electroharmonics Polyphase clone. So over here, zoom out for you. Here's my artboard, and this pedal is, the design is already complete, so I'm using a white background for a white enclosure. My drill template uploaded. Here's my color layer. Let me get rid of the drill template. And I have everything where I want it to be. All my, all my text, everything is there. And if we come into here, everything is vectorized. So here's my, my graphic. I have Kitty Pride over here. So everything in this is vectorized. All my text vectorized. So on and so forth. So everything is vectorized like Tata wants. And my hardware layer. And 
The pedal vector pack is really good because it gives you an opportunity to make sure that nothing is obstructed in your graphic by any of the hardware. That's why I love using it. I recommend everyone use it and it gives you a nice clean layout with no surprises. Just another reminder, everything needs to be vectorized, especially text. They probably don't have that specific text in their system that you downloaded for whatever design you're doing. Keep everything inside the artboard borders because it will not print if anything is hanging off. And then keep everything centered in your artboard so that there's no gaps on the side that are offset. One last thing I want to discuss in doing our design and our artboards before we move on to the next video is Tata had touched on not wanting overlapping colors and punching out colors so that it doesn't give you a false representation of whatever color you're looking for. So here's an example of another design that I did and on this one this big piece of black right here is one solid piece and this design is on a white enclosure and as it is when I initially did the design like this the white letters here are sitting directly on top and to give you an example if I remove any of these you can see it's just sitting on top so if this was printed just as is those white letters would look gray now here's a better example of how I fixed that by punching the white letters through and letting the white enclosure come through the black and give me pure white letters versus having them sit on top and look gray. So that's something that you want to keep in mind if you're trying to do something like this. So that concludes this video and in the next video we're going to be talking about exporting our file to PDF. So see you then.